Hi everybody, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some RuneScape. Well, good morning Retro Rocket, good morning Ori. Here I am, looking good. Alright, so now I've got a bunch of new quests. Oh, what is this? Dwarven Discovery. Um, Dwarven Discovery will be running until this time on the 2nd of November. Um, so it looks like some kind of special event. I don't know what this even means. Um, that's good, Retro Rocket. Uh, modify your prizes using Dwarven Invention Techniques. You can add extra prizes, increase the rarity of your prize, or even multiply the amount you get. Modifiers have different chances of appearing. White, yellow, orange, red, or purple. Increasing in rarity, I see. Continue. Um, you can add modifiers to the prize in the center of the apparatus. Hey, no trick. What's up? Hello from America all the way to Norway. Oh, okay, cool. Well, I love daily login rewards. It always feels good to get a little boost. Um, and I like treasure, so I'm down with this. Let's see what they got. Let's see what's going on here. Um, you can al uh, always have access to completely re-roll your prize or use no modifier. The other modifiers will be consumed. Um and replaced with another modifier to use. Hmm, okay. Your next prize is shown here to help you choose what you want to use your modifier on. All right. Um, let's see. So I can use a modifier um to get like a one of these other things here oddments upgrade the rarity a prismatic fallen star um a small lamp well i tell you what i have no idea which one i should pick or why even um but let's just try to upgrade the rarity. And then... Um, let's see. It's going to turn it into a yellow one. And then I can claim the prize? Prismatic Medium Fallen Star. Um, this star can be drained of energy to give you bonus experience. Oh, that's cool. So I can just use this to give my character like an XP boost. Um, claim later. Claim it to your backpack. You can't bank it. It has an oddments value if I want to just convert it into oddments um, to spend in the oddments store. Interesting. No idea what that even means. Um, but I'm going to backpack it. All right, I'm out of keys, and I can buy keys, but I don't really want to. And we'll go ahead and say, all right, we now have this item in our backpack, which is um, the Prismatic Medium Fallen Star, which I might use to get some experience. Whoa, look at this dude. The Lumbridge Sage. That guy looks amazing. And there's Rabbit Sandwich, my familiar, not familiar, sorry, my just little cosmetic pet. And a butterfly is just flitting around me happily. Hello, butterfly. How are you? All right, so um, I am now on... Or I, I should say I took this boat, and I have arrived in Lumbridge. Um, yeah, Lumbridge. Um, oh, okay, cool, Retro Rocket. Yeah, I was wondering if... The bonus experience um, 
was like a timed thing and I don't want to use it and have it wear off if I'm not out doing stuff. Oh yeah, Ori? Actually, it does. I logged in today for Township and got some gold. I was pumped about that. Yeah, I love daily rewards. I love anything that rewards you for playing consecutively. I know, and, you know, logging in every day, I know that's a, uh, a sick kind of mechanism that they've built into the game to incentivize you playing, and I kind of resent that, but I also like the rewards. Look at this skeleton dog. Hey, skeleton dog, how you doing? Up, down is pie. It is a little quiet, huh? Did I activate the lodestone to the north of me? I don't think so. Let me go try to do that. Um, how do you do that? Do you step on it? Examine it. Or this isn't the lodestone, is it? This is like the thing that you land on when you teleport. Um, don't do that, Ori. Um, let's see. So, I did all the quests, or I'm sorry, the tutorial. That is the lodestone. Okay, cool. I did all the tutorial stuff in Burthorpe. And now I'm here in Lumbridge, and I want to do all of these tutorial things, too. Um, so I can do Lumbridge quests, I can do the catacombs, um, and I can do some cooking. All of that sounds fantastic. Um, let's just do from the top to the bottom a sample of novice quests in Lumbridge. Um, cook's assistant. Complete this novice quest. Talk to the cook in the kitchen of Lumbridge Castle. Well, I do want to be the cook's assistant. Man, I mean, this sage... He's got a sweet backpack. He's got rarities from around the world. He has a, an owl and an amazing glowing staff. This guy is really, really doing it. Casually reading a book. I aspire to have eyebrows like this guy. And to just generally live the life of this Lumbridge Sage. Um, Ori, I think it's five dollars. Let's see. Or if you have Amazon Prime, it, you can use your monthly Prime, your free sub or whatever, to do it that way. All right, so let's go ahead and follow the path. And let's go in here and learn some cooking. Oh, there's the Halloween decoration. Yeah, people were telling me that there was going to be a Halloween event, and that's pretty cool. Um... I'm just kind of sticking to the basic stuff for now. Puppet, hello, how's it going? All right. Um, I'm going to move over here and move over here. All right. And is this the cook? It is. Hello. Wow, look at this. They've got some steaks just hanging from the wall. I'm not sure about the sanitary business there. What is, is this the root cellar? I hope. Um, uh oh, look how upset this guy looks. Man, you love Arma 3, Puppet. I'm going to have to check that game out someday. S thanks for stopping over. Uh, what am I to do? I don't know, man. What's, what's wrong? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I'm in a terrible, terrible mess. It's the Duke's birthday today, and I should be making him a lovely big birthday cake using special ingredients. Well, you probably should do that. Yes, it is the Duke's birthday after all. Hey, what's up? Crystal, how's it going? 
Yeah, you're right. It is dried meat. You're you're right. I just um I got to use my imagination. I mean, the rest of this kitchen is in such good repair, is so clean that this this guy ain't letting his kitchen get dirty. Look at his checkered pants. Everything about this man and his mustache says good food and cleanliness. Hey, is this the first quest ever in the whole game? 20-year anniversary <laughs> almost for this cook's assistant quest? That's hilarious. That's awesome. Yep, yep, I, I took the boat from Berthorpe, and I'm here in Lumbridge talking to the cook who has some serious problems concerning the Duke's birthday. Um, he's forgotten to get the ingredients. I'll never get them in time now. He'll sack me. Whatever will I do? I have four children and a goat to look after. Would you help me, please? Man, he's laying it on pretty thick. Um, all right, dude. Of course I'm going to help you. All right, so this adventure thing comes up, and it says, left-click this button when you're ready to accept the quest. Talk to the cook. Um... He's lazy. The quest is easy. It looks like it's going to be a fetch quest, you know, but are you telling me? Ah. So this is something I was chatting with people on Discord about. This quest, it says it's set in the fifth age. And as far as I understand it, there's multiple ages in this game's lore is the fifth age the earliest age or is there a first age um yes that's what people were telling me to do to try to do them in the order are they up to like the seventh age now um yes somebody was telling me you can filter it by order and i don't want to do them out of order because i don't want to spoil any story surprises so i'm going to do my best to try to do them in order so um Let's see, it's 5th age, the requirements are none, there's no combat, it's easy, and it's short. Wow, I love how they give you all this information about the quest. Um, this is a 5th age quest and takes place in the past, before the gods return to Gelinor. Ah... Ah, so, um, turn off can complete and recommend it in the quest panel, um, and it will show me them in order. And turn on the date. Um, release date. Here we go. Yeah, I see this. Okay, thank you for that. Perfect. And now I see that I'm doing Cook's Assistant, which is the very first quest in 2001. Wow. This is kind of awesome to do it in chronological order like this. Um, mm, okay, Crystal, so you start in the fifth age, and then if God stuff happens, it progresses the age. After the quest, the world wakes is when the sixth age happens. Okay, cool. Um, well, I'm going to do stuff then in historical fashion or try to. I'm going to accept this quest. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I must tell you that this is no ordinary cake, though. Only the best ingredients will do. I need a super large egg, top quality milk, and some extra Excuse me. Fine flour. Oh, oh. Hey, Big Jordo, what's up? Ah, oh, thank you so much for... Um, yeah, I really try to keep it as chill as possible and enjoy the game. Just kind of luxuriate in the game. Death Dude, what's up? Um, oh, sort by timeline, and it sorts it thematically by lore progression. Um, so you get some newer quests moved in. Oh, okay, that's a good idea. I think I'll do. I think I'll try it that way then instead. Um, and that way, if I'm doing it by timeline, it still doesn't spoil things, right? It still keeps it 
Um, spoiler free. Well, I'm not super... I appreciate you saying that I'm quick to pick up on things. I have a lot of help. There's a lot of awesome people in the RuneScape community who stop by and show me stuff. But I have like you know, 20 years of uh, playing MMO experience of various kinds and just gaming in general since I was a wee tyke on my Atari. So um, that being said, I make catastrophic blunders and overlook the simplest of things. Um, so let's go ahead and get this guy his ingredients. Where can I find those then? I, I love my little portrait in the corner here and how my hat is in it. That's sweet. Okay, cool. You just get some experience, some of the newer quests. Yeah, death, dude. I'm glad you're here, man. That's the problem. I don't exactly know. I usually send my assistant to get them for me, but he quit. Uh-oh. Why would he quit? I've marked some places on your world map in red. You might want to consider investigating them. I like how instead of telling me um, the items that I want to get for the quest are there, he's just it's like indirectly like, you might want to consider investigating. Grilled cheese sounds pretty good, Ori. All right, I'm going to go... I'm going to go... I'm not even going to consider investigating. I'm just going to investigate. All right. Um, and then let me go actually to my quest panel. Um, whoa. Here we go. So people were telling me the uh, F keys are the secret. And so I'm just kind of toggling through my F keys. F3 brings this up. I'm going to go then and I'm going to do timeline. There we go. Okay, um, so areas in red on my map have been marked. But he doesn't mean the red um, dots, right? He means... Um, I don't know what he means. Oh, I see, Crystal. So it's like a flashback. That makes sense. I'm fine with strange time-dimensional activity, as long as it means I can do some fun quests. And they can progress the lore and not have it be stale. Um, oh, the red writing. Okay. Um... All right, so I talked to the cook, and now I want to look at the map for red writing. Goblins, cows, and chickens. All right, I see, I see. And the mill, perfect. Yeah, it is a good solution. I like it. All right, let's go then to... Um, so, all right, I need to go to the goblins, which are over here, kind of by the lodestone across the river. All right. So then let's move out here and... Dee -dee -dee. Go over here. Let's see. So here's the river. And I'm going to kind of go here. Oh, no, I clicked the wrong thing. Go over here. Yeah, Wrong bridge. So this is where they said the goblins were. Here they are. Oh, these guys are bad. 
Is am I getting or no maybe they're not. Oh though they are bad. Um and I need to attack them perhaps. Oh, I can open the quest journal to see what to do next. Um Let's see. I need to find a bucket of top quality milk. Um, flour and a large egg. And so he's kind of telling me that maybe these goblins will drop something for the quest, perhaps. So these goblins are bad, but they won't aggro unless I attack them. First of all, that's very nice of them. Second of all, I don't know why they're living so close to the town, but um, that's fine. All right, let me just try to remember how to even do combat. Um, attack this goblin. Yeah, I used my magic on him. Look at all this magic happening. Crushed him. Magic wand. Ooh, we got a staff of air. That's good. Um, let's see, there's some bread dough, bones, goblin male pieces, and a staff of air. Cool. What can I do with this staff of air? Um, Peacock, what's up, man? I don't know if I can bonk him with a staff. Um, so I have this staff of air, right? And I wonder if I should use it instead of my wand. I think people were telling me that it boosts magic of that kind or makes it take less runes or something I don't know anyway I'm just gonna attack them with my wand and my spell and get all this stuff Carlo what's up oh okay big Jordo thank you so the staff of air um, provide infinite runes okay that's cool. And do you have to have it equipped instead of the wand to do that? Okay. But just as a question then, um, does my wand um, do damage by itself? without taking any resources or is it just there to mean that I do these abilities here because I'm wondering like should I have my wand equipped or should I have my air staff equipped no I won't Ori um let me open up my inventory. All right, I'm going to um, bury all my bones. I'm burying your brothers, friends. Um, I don't know. Let me see. Uh, examine it. Okay. Oh, so damage is de determined by its tier. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how I even see... Like, the melee weapons clearly display how much damage they do. But the magical stuff is not... Um... Anyway. I'm killing them so fast, it doesn't matter. We'll figure it out. Uh, let me look at the quest thing again. Milk, flour, and an egg. Oh, okay, for mage. So, is my, um... Let me check this out. 
I'm I have this airstrike. Is it set to auto cast because it's got this red box on it? Magic weapon damage depends on which spell you're using. So basically when because I have my wand out and this airstrike spell selected like this, when I click on an enemy with the left mouse button, I'll just be casting airstrike and then I'll do everything on my ability bar like my dragon breath and all of these things will happen after that. And then after the cooldown for two seconds for airstrike is up, I'll just use airstrike again. Oh, okay, set active. Um, ah, there we go. Thank you. Okay, thanks everybody. Alright, that makes sense. So, um... You know what would help me? Um... Oh, this guy's... His guy added on. Oh, so the wand determines the accuracy. Okay, interesting. Alright, I have area loot on, so I picked it all up. I'm gonna bury this. Bones, um, Mask of the Troll, Armor 40 Hybrid. Is there a way for me to, in the, like, I guess in the chat window, to see the combat information? Like, how much damage I'm doing and taking? Is that printed out somewhere? Like, is there a combat log? Oh, okay, so there is no printout. Um, okay. Alright, you just have to watch as it happens. Okay, fair enough. Alright, so it looks like I did 66 with something. Maybe that was airstrike. Um, okay, okay, thank you everybody. That makes sense. Alright, we're going to take it all. And we're going to bury the bones. Alright, so let me go back to my quest. Maybe I don't need these goblins right now. Well, they are red. Maybe they do drop something. I'm going to do the rest of this and come back for these goblins. I mean, it's fun just taking them down, uh, but... Can I equip this? Hmm. Hey, Tethiel. Thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate that. Um. Okay. All right. So maybe it's just the text for the goblins is just red because they're it's an a, a camp of enemies. But I don't need it for this quest. I didn't know if maybe they had stolen eggs or something or you know had bread or whatever. Um, okay, fair enough. Then let's just skip them. <laughs> 